right. Uh, Fire away. You know, it's Tuesday, practicing with Taylor Davis, still going with him as a starter. Talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I thought it was good. I thought our guys came out here a lot of fire today. Um, you know, because of what they do offensively, you need a fast look. So we actually went a lot of ones-on-ones today, and, and that was good. It was good for both sides of the ball. Got a lot of fast looks, and um, sometimes we were running their plays, and sometimes they were doing what they do on defense. But And sometimes just went against each other and ran each other's stuff. So it was good. A lot of fast work. Um, thought the energy was real well. We, we got to do that two more days in a row, and if we do, I think we'll play real well. And James Baker running with the ones a lot. Are you are really trying to work him in as a workhorse now? Yeah, you know, but those, you know, I thought Chris played real well the other day, and Richard's been good here in the dome. So, um, but yeah, James has been real good lately. So hopefully he can come out and have a big game for us. Linehan, uh, would I be correct in saying Linehan was running with the ones a little bit? Maybe you getting ready, yeah. getting ready just in case. Yeah, yeah, he's been taking. He took a lot of, you know, he took reps with the ones last week too. So if something happened, he's got to be ready to go. So uh, yeah, he went with both. Coach, one thing I saw against Ole Miss, uh, Brett Ballard, uh, long snapping, looked like he did a pretty good job. Which he did do a good job. You know, he stepped in. Maurice's hand was hurt, you know, and so he could play on defense, but he couldn't long snap. So I thought Brett stepped in and did a really good job for us, both both long snapping and short snapping. So That's kind of a job that's, you know, it's an overlooked job, obviously. Yeah, but it can so. kill you. <laughs> it's an overlooked job that can cost you games. So he stepped in there and did a real nice job for us. With, with uh, Desmond, uh, I know you spoke about him a little bit. As far as his consistency he brings, but just having that speed and being able to show up against really quick teams like Ole Miss and make plays, is that is that a byproduct of the speed and consistency? I guess how to, Desmond Epps? Yeah, Desmond. Yeah, he's, he's just he's a good player. I mean, that's we got to find a couple more of guys like him this year in recruiting. You know, that's a guy that definitely, you know, could probably play at any level he wanted to and just got lost in the shuffle, and I'm glad we found him. We need to find a few more of those guys, but he's He's a good player, fast, he's competitive, works hard out here every day. So, uh, and I think he'll be – most junior college kids play way better their second year than they do their first year as long as they stay hungry and keep working hard. And if he'll stay hungry, he'll end up being a really good player next year. Talk a little bit about his personality because he's, he's the kind of guy that, that really talks about wanting to come in and work hard and staying humble yet confident at the same time. Yeah, you know, he works hard. I think he's a he's – a, very confident kid and, and very competitive. Usually the competitive guys work hard because they don't like to lose anything they do. So usually if you're real competitive, you practice hard because you don't like having somebody beat you in practice. And so that's that's the key. That's what we got to get, 11 of those on both sides of the ball. And when we get that, that's when you're a really good team because those competitive guys, they don't like losing anything. They don't like losing one single rep in practice. And so then that's, that's how they do everything they do. That's how he is. Coach, uh, you know, you get the two final home games coming up here. Do you have recruits coming up here and checking out the last two home games of the year? Not any, not any official visits. We're going to wait and have those, you know, when the season's over. But we have a lot of unofficial visits. But uh, most of our, our, our two big weekends for official visits are going to be December 6th and 13th. So those will be two big weekends for us. But um, uh, there will be a lot of there'll be a lot of people here unofficially. I'll see you this a little bit on Monday. But, you know, for you as a dad growing up around, you know, football and now your kids get to grow up around football you know this is dad's weekend mason's around the program a lot just talk yeah. a little bit about how you know cool it's been for your kids now that you're head coach you know i think it's they've been around all the time you know really regardless but i think it's it's nice for them because you know i make the decisions now that we're going to stay here you know to be honest with you so they know they're going to get to go to one high school for the next three years where when you're an assistant coach you, you live you live month by month and my kids would be literally nervous every January oh do we get to stay and go to school here or are we moving again you know and usually if you made it through January then you're okay and if you didn't then you're moving so but an assistant coach got no say in that at all but as a head coach got to say so I think that's the most exciting happiest thing they're about about me being a head coach is they know that uh, they're going to be here and finish out their high school career here and and, uh, and that's probably the best thing about it for them right now they're always around anyway and that's that's exciting I always thought it was you know, there's no better thing than going up and being around your dad up at work and being around the program. Mason loves that. Ava loves it, to be honest with you. And Emery does it as much as she can. She's just awful busy. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. I mean, after the Temple game, um, Ava was in there with you. Just like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty no, awesome. No reflecting back on that a couple yeah. later. How awesome was that? It was really awesome. You know, and that's that's what it's all about. Being a coach's kid is hard because you don't see him a lot during the week. So anytime they can be around, then anything that can be special, you know, whether that's being on the sideline or, or coming out to practice or sitting down there next to me, I think 
those are the those are the advantages. And, and um, anyone that's grown up as a coach's kid understands that there's there's things that are tough, and then there's things that are great. And so anything that you got a chance to let them do this great, you make sure you do it. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.